Hello boys and girls, welcome to this week's art lesson. This week we're going to do one of my favorite projects in art class and it is called Chompers. Everybody loves Chompers. And two pieces of copy paper, if you only have one that's fine too, but I'm just gonna stack them on top of each other and I'm gonna cut them into strips about this thick. One, two cuts. So that now I have one, two, three, four, five, six papers for chompers. I can make six chompers with two pieces of paper. So a good way to start is just getting your paper ready. A chomper is a transformational drawing, which means you start with something and then when you open it up, it transforms into something else. To make your drawing transform, you have to take your strip of paper and fold it in half. So we line it up, line up the two edges, crease the paper, and then take the top flap and then you're gonna fold it back to meet this crease here. Okay, so I have this, this is what my paper looks like. I'm gonna crease it really well and I'm going to draw something here. Now, whatever I draw, I can open it this way, long ways, or I can open it tall. So you have to think about what you're gonna do before you know which way to hold your paper. If you're gonna draw something like a dog that gets really long, you're gonna wanna hold your paper this way. If you're gonna draw a tree that grows taller, this way. Something that's opening its mouth would be this way as well. So anything that's getting taller, opening, would go this way, but you can also think of things that stretch out long ways too. So let's start with the most simple thing, a regular smiley face. If I want my smiley face to have a mouth that opens and closes, whatever is going to change needs to go on this folded part. So I'm gonna draw my smiley face head and the mouth of my smiley face must go on this crease part. So that's the tricky part is drawing on top of the crease. It's kind of hard to draw on top of a crease. That's the challenge of drawing a chomper. So there's a mouth and some eyes. Okay, now when I open it, I have this big empty space. So this is where I need to connect everything. The head needs to be connected. And now I'm gonna decide what is going on in this smiley face's mouth when it opens. So I'm gonna connect the mouth. I could make it squiggly. You could do whatever you want. Whatever surprise you want to happen inside of your chomper is up to you. You can add some teeth. You could put, I don't know, maybe he's eating a burger. I'll draw a little burger. You can give this person some shoulders, hair. Okay, when I close it, this is what I have now. So there's my person. When I open it, he's eating a burger. Okay, now when I really take my time with these, because I, I think I have a whole bunch of these in my classroom somewhere, when I'm done, I like to open it up and I like to trace it very carefully with a Sharpie marker. And then I usually use a crayon or a colored pencil to color them in. I don't use markers because markers can be really dark and they sometimes over, they take over the drawing because they're so dark that when you color in your pencil, you can't really see your drawing anymore. So if you are gonna use marker, I would trace it first. Um, but, Again, it's always better to use a lighter material like crayons or colored pencils to color these in. And colors are obviously make your drawings come alive. So it's a good idea to color them in. So that's how you would do a, a pretty easy mouth that opens and closes. What if I wanna show something that's opening its mouth from the side, like a fish or something? I fold my paper in half, I fold it back down, I draw my fish's body, 
and I make sure that the fish's mouth lands on the crease. So there's my fish's mouth, there's the eye, there's a fin, there's the back fin, tail, side fin, I can put some bubbles. some scales. Okay, now when I open, now notice this fish is looking to the side, so we don't see his whole face. He's going to the side. So when I open up my paper, I have to connect everything. So now I'm gonna connect his body together. I'm gonna connect his tail fin together. But I am not gonna connect this together because he's opening his mouth. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go like this. Now it looks like his mouth is opening from the side. And you can add a tongue coming out if you want. You could put, maybe there's a sad little fish. Or um, you could put some teeth. Okay, so there's my fish that really cute and innocent little fish. And then when you open it up, it's a hungry fish. Okay, let's do one more together. This time I'm gonna do something totally different. Fold my paper in half, fold it back. Okay, I'm gonna draw the ground. I'm gonna draw a tree. Could also be a flower, something that grows. Now when I open it up, I have to complete my tree. And now it's a really tall tree. See, the focus does not have to be on mouths opening and closing. It could be anything that stretches, grows, or changes in any way. We'll do one more. Fold it in half, fold this back. Dear mom, writing a letter to mom. I love you. Love me. So here's my dear mom love me letter. When I open it up, I love you. You could put whatever you want in that letter. So it could be a letter, like a scroll that gets really long and then you could put a nice long letter so this could be a million things. You could put hearts in here. Okay, so that's how you do chompers. Um, hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions or you wanna share some of the chompers that you made, please join me on Zoom. Hope you enjoy the project. Have fun, guys.